All right, join us today. We had a six hour trip. We fished about, uh, I guess about 14, 15 miles offshore. It was a little bit rougher than expected. It was supposed to be glass calm. Like right now is glass calm as you can see. It's beautiful. You can run 60 miles if you wanted to. This morning, it was not, that was not the case. It was uh, very, very uh, bumpy. Um, we, we lucked out. We got a couple nice cobia. Check out these studs right here. So we got a nice uh, basket of sea bass as well. Nice cobia, sea bass, We've got some trigger fish. We also caught a monster shark. So it was a, a great, a great adventure. We catch these guys. Look at that sugar fish, beautiful fish. So, all right. Well, here's the adventure. Let's go. Make sure you like and subscribe. We uh, will see you next time. We have a lot of good stuff coming up. So. Uh, let's get to the fishing. There you go. Look at this cobia. Huh? Nice little guy. Fishing that fall cobia run. Ready? Yeah. All right. Hooked up again. BG 6500 series. Here he comes. Your line in it too. Whose line? Oh yeah, front line. I got a cobia. All right, you got him on the GoPro. Here, yeah. Put your rod up there and just reel on this front line. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. No, I think it's because it's on this one, maybe. Here, hold this. Just maybe, maybe just. Slacking it off because it was wrapped around the wrapped around? Yeah, I saw it wrapped around. Hey, you wanna fight it? No, you got it. It's fine. Alright, here he comes. Nice little cobia. Get the call fall cobia run. He looks like he's a keeper. Loosen the drag a little bit. There he comes, right here. Yep. See him right there? Ryan, you want to get that net maybe? Oh shit, just broke me off. Do you still have him? I am. You got him? Probably too good, obviously. How do you still have them? I think it was too good. Nice. Can you just get them like that? I want to get this one rigged up. Like that. Or did he get wrapped up in wrapped up in mine? Did you get any of your stuff back or nothing? No, he cut it cut it off. I think your braid cut it off. Either there's two fish on and your you know braid just cuts.
Did you have that live bait on this one? That was a live bait. You got enough pressure on them? Too much pressure, too little pressure? I think it's a good amount. There you go. Yeah, different than mine. We had two on. Nice job, Ryan. Nice. Kalia for one month. There you go. I like it. There's a little beat there. That's a remora. That's a remora there? Yep. Where do these guys come from? Right. Nice job, Ryan. You want to hold them up? You're the one that caught them. Nice. Nice. Nice cobia. We're well, gonna get you from the other side, but it's some part. Nice. I like it. All right, bloody Dex, let's get back in the, in the box. All right. Let's get on some more. All right, we're hooked up here, just leaving the rod in the rod holder with one of those alien jigs by CNH Lures. And this guy is cruising along pretty good. He hit it like a ton of bricks. This is probably the biggest one that we've hooked today. This fall cobia run. Have to sunset it. Yeah, I might have to. Oh, 
We may have to let out some anchor on I don't know. He hasn't stopped. This is incredible. Freight train. Or it's a nice big grouper. Yeah, I think I got him stopped finally. I almost have to throw the anchor on the ball. This is on that alien jig. And just leaving it on the in the rod holder. Letting it do its thing. How much line you got out? Uh, so um, I see one ring. So we're at like what? Almost, almost a third back. So he took what? Almost half the spool. Yeah. What was the spool? Thirds. Third? I think so. Yeah. So I see two rings basically. The upper oh, so ring. he took two thirds of the spool. Yeah. We have a third left. That was getting close. It's coming over to the other side of the boat. I just feel like I'm wicked tuna here. You want to switch gunnels? Kobe jigs work. Catching stuff. Now this jig has actually two hooks. And they're pretty strong, as you can see. We won it at a uh, fishing tournament event. We almost, we almost at the third mark. I think he's still got a good ways to go. I know. It's exciting when they dump the line like that. Thank God it wasn't on a kingfish rod. Thank God it's on a new tackle. This is a uh, 50 pound braid. You gotta check all your leader to make sure they're not shaped up. When you get a fish of a lifetime, this could be a fish of a lifetime. You want to make sure you get this shot and it counts. It's coming now. He broke his spirit. Facing the, the, the fish with the rod tip. See how I adjusted that? Got all the line back. All right, see any color on it yet? Now you got trim tabs down there, so you gotta be careful on the engines and all that. So, oh, I just pick it up. Oh, you got an issue here. All right, so you're gonna have to go under. There you go. Real. This is the back breaker. There he is, right there. That is it. Big. That's a sharky. Shark. Big one. Feels like sandpaper. Oh, nice. Win win. We got our jig back. Minus the hooks. No hooks. I don't know if you can retie that thing. Okay, maybe no win-win. We, we got, got our weight back. We got our uh, uh, paperweight. Man, I was worried it was a, a shark the way he was running. But that's all right. Still a good, good event, good fight.
All right, let's get on some more. Good fish. Get off or what? Need some help? Kill bees. Thing. We. You got it. Need some help? Looks like a big fish. A big fish. Uh, yeah, don't go this side of it. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know. Keep it to the left, right there. There you go. Let's see. Hey, uh, is it around my room? Hey, Ryan, I think we got a... Is it? Here, come over here. It's coming to you. Right, he's got it. He's hooked up to it. Who is? Dale. Here. That's his coat? Yeah. Give me the gaff. You, you take it over. Is he going to keep it? Nice Kobe, let's go. What is he measuring? 34, yes, yeah, so you're good. Alright. There we go, two nice Kobe in the box. Let's get on some more. We got a bunch of uh, black sea bass, triggerfish, smaller uh, vermilion snappers that we let go, but let's get on some more. Alright, Ryan's hooked up here. Good fish. We switched spots. And uh, right on the flat line, pulling some nice drag. It's clean. What is it fighting like a snapper? Uh, it's pretty big. It's not bucking it's like a snapper. It's going up. It might be a good cobia. The way it's kind of running out there. Maybe we'll be, maybe we'll be lucky. Oh, I see. Color looks like a snapper. Is it a moose snapper? That's good size. Nice size snapper. Ooh, look at that guy, huh? That's a good 10 pounder. 11 pounder. Check him out. Maybe I got some more of these guys. We get them released real quick. You got something? Oh, little guy. Why right, bother? All right. Well, a solid snapper. We're gonna get him back in the water. Now well, I got one coming up right over here. Oh, triggerfish! Nice and a big sea bass. Two keepers right there. Look at that green eye and everything. Nice fish. It's like a sandwich, huh? Kill a bee. And a bee liner. I've well, got a bee liner. Ah! Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's rebait him up. 
Oh, the bite's hot. We're about 13 miles offshore or so. All right, here we go. Got that on. Nice little beeliner too. Got a beeliner. Got a sea bass. Sea bass. Not. He is, look at that. Almost 14 inches on this guy. Trigger fish are what, 13, 12? He is almost 14, 15. Like that, nice, nice little trigger. And this is one of my favorite eating fish in the ocean right here. What are you doing? <laughs> now we're on. All right, so we're hooked up here using the Cobia jig. I picked it with a piece of Boston mackerel right at the tail. And as soon as it came up to the bottom, as soon as it came up to the bottom, it was... Foul hooked? Foul hooked Cobia. Nice. What's the probability of that? How big is it? That looks like it might be short. Probability of foul hooking a cobia like that. It's pretty cool, huh? These are the CNH jigs. Uh, CNH jigs. He might be short though. Yeah, he's short. Okay, he's short, but we're gonna let him go. There he is. Nice cobia. Check out those spines on their back. Those are pretty wicked, but hook them in the tail. Pretty cool, huh? Right, let's go get some more. All right, hooked up here on a double rig, so just be careful. It's not a strong enough uh, leader. That's on the other one. What does it feel like? Grouper. Grouper? Snapper on a double rig. And a grunt. Check it out. Look at that. Dudley fish. Not a monster, but a nice fish. He's gone. Let's get on some more. What about your grunt? Oh, I got a grunt here too. Yeah, there's a grunt. Your screen's kind of dirty. What do we got over here? We're hooked up on the flat line, half ounce egg sinker small circle hook. Feels like a decent fish. This BG65 is taking care of business. 
Oh, nice snapper. Let's get him back in the water here. Beautiful colors. There we go. Yellow hook rig hooked up. Two nice big sea bass. Bottom one's probably a keeper maybe. See so these fish come to us during the winter time. Thirteen inches. And he is a keeper. Thirteen inches. Look at that. Almost the fourteen. No surprise. This guy's gonna be short. So likely short. You're allowed seven a person. It's a very white meat fish. No go. All right, we'll get on some more. All right, hooked up here. We got a couple sea bass here. Two sea bass. I don't know if they're gonna measure. All right. Oh, look at this. Feel like a good one? Yeah, it's a little bigger than the last one. Nice. The last one was a nice sea bass. So. Wintertime sea bass fishing at its finest. Black sea bass. Looking for some cobia, grouper, snapper, sea bass. Looks like a nice fish there. It's bucking like a snapper. Let's see. Yeah, it might be a big snapper. That was a sardine on that one. Nice fish right there. Yeah. What do we got here? It's taking you forever. I think I'm gonna need to go into sunset mode. Oh, here it is. What is it? Nice snapper. Nice snapper. Get him back down there. Did you get two of them? Spin up a third in here, hold this. I've got a nose on. Alright. Alright, there we go. Here. Solid snapper. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Alright. Looks like I'll be sea bass over here. Come on. Two. Alright. We'll measure them up and see if they're there. I think they're probably gonna be short, but that's alright. Alright, let's get on some more guys. Alright, a little better fish here, double hook rig. We've gotten probably about eight or nine keeper black sea bass. And this one's a little smaller, but he's maybe a keeper. So that looks good as our last round. All right, let's go on some more. Wait, hold on. I got a good fish. Oh, he's got a good fish. <laughs> Look at the size of this black sea bass here. Wintertime finest fishing. As you can see, the weatherman kind of blew it. It's a little bit rough. So we uh, hunker down inshore. But this is a solid. Oh, Ryan's got a little bit smaller of one. This guy here is a keeper, so let's get on some more. Is it a good one? Not that good. Not that good? 
Not as good as the last. B-liner, 12 inches on the B-liner. Nice B-liner. Uh, we'll measure him up and we'll get back on him. There he is. We'll call him Red Eye. Alright, let's go. Alright, better fish here. Almost at a standstill. Got him coming? Okay, what do we got here? I don't know the latest fish. Is the rod bowing over? What do we got? Sea bass. Thirteen inches. I don't know. Probably gonna be close. Still got your bait back, so let's measure real quick. He is a keeper. Just barely, but. I mean, I think he's a good one. There's 13. So. Let's, get All right, let's get on some more, guys. All right, another nice solid fish here. This is a double hookup rig. Fighting a little bit. Looks like a little sea bass and another sea bass. There we go. Probably two. Close to being keepers. The bottom one definitely is a keeper. Look at that. Look at the color on that. 13 inches. This guy's thick. He's 13 and change. See this guy. He's 14. So two keepers on that. That drop. Not not bad. Check out the bucket here. Bucket full of nice black sea bass. I'm gonna throw them on ice real quick. And get on some more. What'd you get? Bass. Nice sea bass. That's probably a keeper. No one. Alright, coming up on a nice fish. Double hook rig this time. Oh, nice sea bass. I don't know if he's gonna make it, but he'll be close. Check it out. All right, let's get on some more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. We have a lot of good content coming up, so we will see you next time. Thank you very much.